8th grade unit 3 lesson 13 more solutions to linear equations before we get started please take a moment to give this video a thumbs up I appreciate it problem number one for each equation find y when x is negative 3 then find x when y equals 2 a y equals 6x plus 8 First, we need to substitute the x with the negative 3, so it reads y equals 6 times negative 3 plus 8, and 6 times negative 3 equals negative 18, so y equals negative 18 plus 8. Negative 18 plus 8 equals negative 10, so y equals negative 10 when x equals negative 3. Now we need to substitute the y with a 2, so it reads 2 equals 6x plus 8. I need to subtract 8 from both sides. 8 minus 8 and 2 minus 8. 8 minus 8 is 0. 2 minus 8 is negative 6. So now it reads negative 6 equals 6x. I need to divide both sides by 6. 6x divided by 6 and negative 6 divided by 6. 6 divided by 6 is 1 and 1 times x is x and negative 6 divided by 6 is negative 1. Negative 1 equals x or x equals negative 1. So x equals negative 1 when y equals 2. b. y equals 2 thirds x. First, I need to substitute the x with the negative 3. Now it reads y equals 2 thirds times negative 3. 2 thirds times negative 3 is the same as 2 thirds times negative 3 over 1. 2 times a negative 3 is negative 6, and 3 times 1 is 3. Negative 6 divided by 3 equals negative 2. So y equals negative 2 when x equals negative 3. Now we can substitute the y with a 2, and it reads 2 equals 2 thirds times x. To get the x by itself, we need to multiply the 2 thirds by its reciprocal, which is 3 halves. And we'll have to multiply the 2 times 3 halves. 3 halves times 2 is equivalent to 3 halves times 2 over 1. 3 times 2 is 6, and 2 times 3 is 6. So we have 6 over 6 times x, which is equivalent to 1x, or x. And 3 times 2 is 6, over 2 times 1 is 2. And we have 6 divided by 2, which is equal to 3. So x equals 3, when y equals 2. C. y equals negative x plus 5. First, we need to substitute the x with a negative 3. So it reads, y equals the opposite of negative 3. And the opposite of negative 3 is positive 3. 3 plus 5 equals 8. y equals 8 when x equals negative 3. This time, we need to substitute the y with a 2. Now it reads, 2 equals negative x plus 5. I'm going to subtract 5 from both sides. 5 minus 5 and 2 minus 5. 5 minus 5 is 0, and 2 minus 5 is negative 3. Negative 3 equals negative x. Let's multiply both these terms by a negative 1. Negative x times a negative 1 equals a positive x, and negative 3 times a negative 1 equals a positive 3. x equals 3 when y equals 2. D y equals 3 fourths x minus 2 and a half. First, we need to substitute the x with the negative 3. So it reads y equals 3 fourths times negative 3, or 3 fourths times negative 3 over 1. 3 times a negative 3 is negative 9, and 4 times 1 is 4. The mixed number 2 and a half is the same as 5 halves. And 5 halves is equal to 10 fourths. So y equals negative 9 fourths minus 10 fourths. Negative 9 fourths minus 10 fourths equals negative 19 fourths. So y equals negative 19 fourths when x equals negative 3. Next, we need to substitute the y with a 2. 2 equals 3 fourths x minus 2 and a half. I need to add 2 and a half to both sides. 
negative two and a half plus two and a half equals zero and two plus two and a half equals four and a half. Four and a half equals three fourths x. I still need to get the x by itself, so I'll have to multiply three fourths times its reciprocal, four thirds. And I'll have to do the same thing to the term on the other side of the equal sign, four and a half times four thirds, or nine halves times four thirds. Four thirds times three fourths equals 12 twelfths, or one, and one x is the same as x. Four thirds times nine halves equals 36 over six. And 36 over six is 36 divided by six, or six. So x equals six when y equals two. E, y equals 1.5x plus 11. First we need to substitute the x with the negative three. Now it reads y equals 1.5 times negative three plus 11. And 1.5 times negative three equals negative 4.5. So now it reads y equals negative 4.5 plus 11, which is equal to y equals 11 minus 4.5. And 11 minus 4.5 is 6.5. So y equals 6.5 when x equals negative three. Let's substitute the y with a two. So now it reads two equals 1.5 x plus 11. I need to subtract 11 from both sides 11 minus 11 and 2 minus 11. 11 minus 11 is 0 and 2 minus 11 is negative 9. To get the x by itself, I'll have to divide that term by 1.5 and I'll have to divide the other term by 1.5 as well. 1.5x divided by 1.5 equals 1x or x and negative nine divided by 1.5 equals negative six. X equals negative six when Y equals two. Problem number two, match each graph of a linear relationship to a situation that most reasonably reflects its context. Here's a look at graph A, and the Y intercept is located at the origin and it looks like it has a positive slope, a positive rise and a positive run. I'll match this up with situation number four. Why is the amount of calories consumed eating X crackers? The more crackers you eat, the more calories you consume. Here's a look at graph B. The Y intercept is positive and it has a positive slope with a positive rise over a positive run. I'll match graph B with situation one. Y is the weight of a kitten X days after birth. The Y intercept represents the number of days after birth and the slope of the line represents the weight of the kitten gradually increasing as the days go by. Here's a look at graph C. Graph C has a negative y-intercept and a positive slope with a positive rise over a positive run. I'll match graph C with situation three. Why is the temperature in degrees Celsius of a gas being warmed in a laboratory experiment? Here's a look at graph D. The y-intercept is positive and the slope is negative with a negative rise over a positive run. I'll match graph D with situation number two. Why is the distance left to go in a car ride after X hours of driving at a constant rate towards its destination? The negative slope represents the car driving at a constant rate and its distance decreasing after time. Problem number three, true or false? The points 6 and 13, 21 and 33, and 99 and 137 all lie on the same line. The equation of the line is y equals 4 thirds x plus 5. Explain or show your reasoning. Let's substitute the points 6 and 13. 
Replace the X with the 6 and replace the Y with the 13. 13 equals 4 thirds times 6 plus 5. 4 thirds times 6 is the same as 4 thirds times 6 over 1, which is 24 thirds, and 24 thirds is equal to 8. 8 plus 5 is 13, and 13 equals 13, so this is true. For the next set of points, we substitute the x with 21, and we substitute the y with 33. Now it reads 33 equals 4 thirds times 21 plus 5. 4 thirds times 21 equals 84 over 3, or 84 divided by 3. And 84 divided by 3 is 28. So now it reads 33 equals 28 plus 5. 28 plus 5 is 33, and 33 does equal 33, so this is true. For the third set of coordinates, we'll substitute the x with 99, and substitute the y with 137. 4 thirds times 99 is the same as 4 thirds times 99 over 1. 4 times 99 is 396, and 3 times 1 is 3. 396 divided by 3 equals 132. 132 plus 5 is 137. 137 does equal 137, so this is also true. Problem number four. Here is a linear equation. Y equals 1 fourth X plus 5 fourths. A. Our points 1 and 1.5 and 12 and 4 solutions to the equation. Explain or show your reasoning. Let's substitute the X with 1 and substitute the y with 1.5. 1 fourth times 1 is 1 fourth. 1 fourth plus 5 fourths equals 6 fourths, and 6 divided by 4 equals 1.5. Since 1.5 equals 1.5, yes, these points are a solution to the equation. For the next set of points, let's substitute the x with a 12 and substitute the y with a 4. 1 fourth times 12. 1 times 12 is 12. 4 times 1 is 4. 12 fourths plus 5 fourths equals 17 fourths. And 17 fourths is 17 divided by 4, or 4 and 1 fourth, which does not equal 4. So no, this set of points is not a solution. B. Find the x-intercept of the graph of the equation. Explain or show your reasoning. To find the x-intercept of the graph, the y-value would have to be 0, so let's substitute the y with a 0. To get the x by itself, we'll have to subtract 5 fourths from both sides. 5 fourths minus 5 fourths, and 0 minus 5 fourths. 5 fourths minus 5 fourths is 0. To get the x by itself, I need to multiply 1 fourth times its reciprocal, which is 4 over 1. And I need to multiply the negative 5 fourths by 4 over 1. 1 fourth times its reciprocal is 4 over 4, or 1. And 1x is the same as x. 5 times 4 is 20. And 4 times 1 is 4. 20 divided by 4 is 5. And 0 minus 5 is negative 5. x equals negative 5. To find the x-intercept of the graph, the points would be negative 5 and 0. Problem number 5. Find the coordinates of B, C, and D, given that AB is 5 and BC is 10. I'll start by using the information that they gave us to help us fill out these points. They said that line AB is 5 units, and they said that line BC is 10 units. Since point D is directly on the y-axis, point D is the y-intercept, which means that the x-value has to be 0. They've given us the points for point A, and this is going to help me figure out the points for point B. The x-value for point A is negative 2, so if the line AB is 5 units long, 5 minus 2 is 3, so the x-value for point B must be 3. 
Look at the y value for point A. It's negative 5. That means that this point is located 5 units below the x-axis. Point B is also located 5 units below the x-axis. So the y value for point B is negative 5. Since the line BC is 10 units and the y value for point B is negative 5, we know that the y value for point C will be positive 5. The x value for point B is 3, and the x value for point C will also be 3. And that leaves us with the missing y value for point D. We know that the slope is rise over run, and the rise from point B to point C is 10, and the run from point A to point B is 5. 10 divided by 5 is 2, so the slope of this line is 2. I also know that the slope is the difference of the y-coordinates over the difference of the x-coordinates of two points on the same line. Let's use the coordinates for point C and D, 3 and 5, and 0 and an unknown number. The y-value 5 minus the unknown value of y, and the x-value of 3 minus the x-value of 0. 3 minus 0 is 3, and 5 minus the unknown number is an unknown amount. Remember that the slope is 2. So what number divided by 3 equals 2? 6 divided by 3 equals 2. So 5 minus what number equals 6? 5 minus a negative 1 equals 6, because minus a negative is the same thing as the opposite of a negative. And 5 plus 1 equals 6. The missing y-coordinate for point D is negative 1. Help me disrupt YouTube's algorithm by liking this video, commenting on this video, sharing this video, and subscribing to my channel. Thanks. I appreciate it.